Hi, Chef Roger. Welcome to class. I'm about to demonstrate how we make some nice little bread croutons sautéed in butter. For that, I'm going to use those little pieces of bread here that I cut around, I would say, one centimeter cube. Huh? They could be smaller, they could be larger, depending what would be the use for them. Me, I'm going to use them in a potage that I'm going to work on after. It's called a, a potage Saint-Germain. It's your split pea soup. And I need those, so here we are making them. So to make those, very easy. I have my pot here, put that on, high heat. I'm going to put my butter in it, wait till it melts, and start to lightly, lightly color. Then right away I will add my bread into it, stir it around to make sure that all the bread cooks evenly. Huh? If you just leave your bread in the butter and go do something else, you'll come back uh, some side of it will be browner than the others as you stir them. And so that's why you need to stir them consistently so they all have an even color. Don't be scared of putting too much butter. If you put too much butter, after we will anyway drain them and the excess of butter will go away. So don't worry about that. Now if you don't want to use butter and you prefer to use like olive oil for example, that works as well. So I'm going to put my bread in it. I'm going to stir it to make sure that each piece of bread gets coated with the butter so they can color well. If you see that it's too dry, you need to add a little bit more butter. Huh? Here it looks okay. I can see that most of those pieces of bread are saturated with the butter. So they should color well. When those are done, I will remove them, like I said, on that piece of paper towel, and I will season it with some salt. So they start to color nicely. Oops. Do you hear that sound? That's a good sign. That's the bread getting nice and crisp here. Almost done. Should take one more minute and we have beautiful little croutons. If you look behind me here, you'll see that I'll be working on two other soups after that. Uh, like I said, a split pea soup and a consommé. So make sure to check those videos after. Huh? Here we are. It's done. We have a nice little color here. Now I'm going to season it right away after they come out of the oil. And you want to dry them right away. If you wait and let them cool down in the pot, for example, and then put in your paper towel, uh, the fat won't come out of it if it's cold. And you make sure that you strain them and drain them when they are still hot. Thank you for watching that quick demo on how to make some. Bread Pluton. Bye-bye.